All right, this is going to be a very quick video, but I've been getting asked a lot about like the whole unpatching process because as you know, I do my speed runs on the original version 1.00. Um, I'll leave a video in the in uh, the comments uh, that explains the differences between the patches. But right now, this video is just going to be about the whole unpatching process. So let's let's say. I, 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 I finished up with some factions for the night. It's not too often anymore, but I finish up with some factions. Uh, I want to be prepared to speedrun the next day. So what I'll do is I will close out, go into applications, delete the game. Wait, I'll turn the mic up for this. Pop the disc out. Put it back in. Unpatching, of course, is only uh, possible using the disc version. Can't do it with uh, a digital version. So what I do when I sort of leave it for the night, I wait for that meter to fill in. I'll start application without updating. Then as soon as I'm able to, two things are going to start to download. I'll wait for the second one. This is factions. And this is the latest patch. Cancel the patch. And then wait for the game to finish up. But, I, and this is the thing I don't think a lot of people know, just because the game's like ready to be turned on and it's unpatched, it's not ready to play just yet. Like right here, I, I can't skip anything. And there's this loading screen even before we get to the main menu. And this is probably going to take like two or three minutes to finish. But basically, um, kind of like what happened today. I was doing runs for about two hours. My internet died. I was going to come back. But when the internet came back on, I turned the game on and the patch had already installed because the Wi-Fi and the PS4 turned off and turned on. And when that happens, at least in my case, it automatically downloaded the patch. So, instead of doing more runs, I knew, like, this whole process of unpatching, even though this part is quick, I'm not going to be able to do another, like, do attempts until probably, like, 40 minutes from now. And when this is done loading, uh, I'll show you why. All right, here we go. Almost done loading, and then, boom. All right. So you would think that, all right, it's loading, game's installed, that's, that's just the factions right there. Treacherous Territories map pack. That's just the free DLC. So let's just go ahead with a speed run. No, not easy. No, oh, come on, new game. Grounded. Doesn't matter which one I pick. Don't save it under a save file like I do in my runs. And this is where it um, it gets a little weird. The game's just not ready to be played yet. Like there are no more meters filling up. Like it's still installing or something. Like, the game's installed. We're playing on version 1.00, as you can see there. This loading screen will take a little while, but... And there's no way to tell, but the game isn't completely installed yet. And this is how you can tell. Awkward silence right here, but we just gotta wait. Wait, and wait, and wait. 
And this is kind of what I go through whenever I, whenever you hear me say, oh, I accidentally installed the patch. I'm going to need another 40 minutes before we can start a run. This is what I refer to. Game started. I can't skip a cutscene. Subtitles on. Everything's fine. This is the first time I've seen a cutscene on my own monitor in like four years. <laughs> but I can't skip. Tommy. Tommy, listen to me. He is the contract. So we just gotta close out. Try it again. There's the patch. Remember, just turn it off. And then even still, if the game's like just like not ready. We got to go through that whole loading screen again. So that's what I mean. There's no way you can tell when it's completely installed. It You just try loading in the game, or you try starting a new game, and if you can skip a cutscene, you're good. If it's not, you'll have to sit through this whole thing again. And from what I can tell, it's going to be ready to go in about like half an hour from now, or 40 minutes. Somewhere between 30 and 40 minutes from now the game will like officially be ready. But again, there's no way to like visually see it. It's just like trial and error, something I've just experienced. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Uh but uh, again, um just like today, I I was going to do more runs, but I accidentally installed the patch. I'd already streamed for like 2 hours. I would have to go through this whole process of uninstalling and waiting and just waiting and waiting. And I didn't need to practice. I just needed to get going. But then he just like hit this roadblock. So if you ever see me like install the patch, I'm done with runs for today. <laughs> I'm done with runs for the day. You know, just because this is such, it's so tedious. And I'm not willing to do a speed run on the latest patch. It's, it's way too different. Uh, one other thing to mention is this is pretty much like what I go through every time I, I unpatch the game. Like I only download the patch so I can play uh, factions. Um, but unpatching, this is like what I go through every, sing every single time. Uh, and, you and usually the reason I end the stream with it. Because what I'll do is I'll shut off all my equipment, but, and, uh, yeah, I'll, sh I'll shut off all my equipment, but I'll leave my uh, PS4 on for, like, another hour. So, like, right before I'm ready to go to bed, I'll turn it off, and by the time I turn the console on the next day, the game should be ready to run, and I won't get this every single time. If I do it the next day, like, I feel like that just wouldn't be... I just wouldn't be smart because <laughs> I'll try to start a run and I'll get that unskippable cutscene thing. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the whole purpose of this video. Hope you guys learned something. <laughs>